What up, Laker Nation? You know, I need you guys. I appreciate all the guys who've been showing support. You know, I definitely uh, respect you guys for that. I need you guys definitely hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. But hit that like button. You know what I mean? I'll be giving you guys some, some NBA insight. You know, definitely with the Lakers. And, and you know, all teams, I'm going to bring it to you. You know, uh, this is the best show on earth right here. I, I, I got all the answers. I'm very knowledgeable about the sport. I love this game here. I love the Lakers. But today's topic going to be about Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes uh, said that his championship with Golden State, he don't count it. He don't count it. So if someone said he won a championship, he said he don't count it. Uh, Jalen Rose responded, and he agreed to Matt Barnes. He brought up a situation when he was in Phoenix, and he said that he don't count his uh he said if the Phoenix would have won the championship that year, he wouldn't have counted because he wasn't getting no playing time. Um, I definitely want to hit see what you guys uh, think in the comment section. I will respond to all you guys' comments. I read my comments. But um, I definitely need to hear what you guys got to say. But me personally, I think it give a bad uh, – I just think it's a bad example for young players and even older players on a team who might get – um, sent to a, a championship team through a, a throw-in on a trade, or a guy may sign with a team in the summer and think he's going to get more minutes than what he actually going to get. Sometimes things happen, and you find yourself on the end of the bench. I think it's, it's, it's bad. Me personally, I think it's bad for uh, Matt Barnes. He has a big platform. Jalen Rose have an even bigger platform being on ESPN. And two uh, guys speak on that. They was the end of their career, and they wasn't um, getting any minutes. I feel that it's not good. Because, like, for instance, Lakers have Quinn Cook. I, I love Quinn Cook for this. Quinn Cook would go to state, end of the bench, always cheering, always cheering, supporting his teammates. He'd do that with the Lakers. Lakers championship team, he, he, he's very supportive to the team. Even guys he made in, in front of him. Even guys like Rondo, who who play over him, Avery Bradley, uh, Alice Caruso, them guys get more minutes than him, and he's supportive to them guys. And when he when his number call, he come in the game, he play. He don't have his face frowned up, or nothing. The Lakers have good chemistry, and that's 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 what you want to send out there. If you start saying don't count, and you feel in the way, it's gonna show. It's gonna show you on the end of the bench. You. You're not fully into it. You're not fooling anybody. You you could you could see in a player that he's not all in. He's feeling away because he feels he should be playing. You know, he I know Matt Barnes probably say no. I supported my teammates and so, but you can see it. If you feel that strongly about that, you won't count a championship ring, and you're part of a team. And, and to me, it's a big contradiction because you sit there and say, oh, it's about. I see Matt Barnes playing time on his platform. Say it's about the 15 guys in the locker room. You know, team chemistry is about the 15 guys. All 15 guys are not going to get minutes. So out the 15, only most teams in the playoffs play about nine guys. So the rest of the guys ain't getting many minutes. So if they win a championship, uh, what you saying that they shouldn't count that championship? And I think that that that's bullshit. I think that that's not right. I think, you know, you're part of the team. Sometimes things happen. And sometimes guys fall out the rotation and in situations, different things happen for different reasons. You know, sometimes free agents go, like I said, go to teams and it was they were expected to play, but maybe a younger player stepped up, ended up playing better than them. They may got off to a slow start and the guy may get that position and never look back. So there's a lot of different reasons that, you know, you're not playing. But you deserve that ring. You know, you was part of that championship team. Your name is on always going to be on the wall, always on that roster. When people look back and they type in, you know, Golden State Warriors, um, I think it's 2017 championship, your name is on that roster. And you should be proud of that. You got, he has sons, you know. So if your sons get older and they make it the league and, and they're not a good player, they guys who tend their contracts and happen to make and get a championship, they, they shouldn't feel that they accomplished 
winning a championship? I don't think that's that's right for guys who has a big platform to say that. I'd rather you keep that in private. You know, I don't look down on that. You know, so um, I want to get on that. And also, I want to touch on the seeding. You know, the uh, one one through sixteen seeding. Uh, me personally, I think that it should only be sixteen teams uh, coming back. I'm hearing that they thinking about having twenty teams and leaving four home. I just think that's stupid. I don't see the purpose of bringing 20 teams and leaving four teams. If you're going to do that, you might bring all the teams. Because I think that's not fair either. You bring 20, because I'm pretty sure the, the 20th team is really not close to, to playing. And what I'm hearing is that if the league do play, they have to reach that magic number 70 games. And most teams is at like 67, some at like, I think the, the team who probably, nobody, I think everybody got at least more than 65 games. I think everyone has a, anywhere from like 65 to like 67 games, 68 games. So and I'm hearing that they just want every team to play 70 games just for them to get to recoup the money. I don't know exactly how that works. I, I have a, a, a similar, I have like a small understanding of it, but you know, exactly how it worked, but they have to reach 70 games, so they're thinking about that, but Damon Lillard said that he's not going to uh, come back if it's just meaningless games. I respect him for that. He don't have to come back if he don't want to far as play. I wouldn't even support my team. I have to stay at home, you know, and um, I think it should just be 16 teams. If they have to reach that, that number and, and, and every team have to come back to play three or three or four games, you know, they should do it. But I think it should just be the 16 teams. And I think that one to 16 would be interested or they do east to west, it doesn't matter to me. But like I said, um, I'll be going on live. You guys come support me on live. Hit that like button right now. Hit that subscribe button. You know, I'm going to talk to you guys. We're going to bring you all the heat, all the um, breaking news, different things like that. Peace.